Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit, where user ayayaya3 asks, People living in small towns, what's the recent scandal? A few days ago, Amber Alert sent out an emergency message about a fellow in a green car who has stabbed his girlfriend and stolen their baby out of San Jose, which is three hours north of us. Lo and behold, the guy was caught right at our own downtown gas station when the kidnapper accidentally locked the baby and his keys in his car, which drew attention to him. A good Samaritan from an entirely different town, tourist, put the puzzle together and put the guy in a headlock until the authorities arrived. Not really recent, but the owner of the petting zoo turned out to be a serial murderer and buried two corpses under the goat enclosure. A lot of kids volunteer there and walked over them unknowingly. He murdered the couple and used their house, car and money. Edit. He murdered more people before this couple. That's why I called him a serial killer. Drama class was interrupted by a cow giving birth in the field across from the school. A pigeon got caught in the supermarket and it made front page of local news website with live updates. A couple months ago, someone left their fire pit in their driveway for a few days. They received a mailed letter from an anonymous neighbour shaming them for making the neighbourhood look bad. The recipient then posted the letter on the town's Facebook page. People ran with it and created the first annual front yard fire night. Somebody in town has a bunch of mannequins in their front yard. My grandparents' small town has had a recent outbreak of teenagers riding horses through the middle of downtown while wearing nothing but face masks. It has happened a total of three times now. Always different kids, always different horses. A vacant house exploded and no one is sure what caused it. Local middle school teacher is suspect in human trafficking. In 2017, we had some kid going round to random porches and lighting bags of his own poop on fire. He never got caught. Someone keeps throwing slices of cheese on cars in the next town over. The neighbourhood Facebook page is in an uproar. Two cousins just got married. The family all knew when they started dating and didn't say a word until they were in a committed relationship. They went ahead with it. It wasn't even very distant. People have been arguing about whether or not it's fair to reserve spots by setting up chairs along the side of the road the day before the Christmas horse parade. Our lawyer blew up his residence slash business with a meth lab. Edit. Just for small town jokes, our rival small town teams start chanting, Where's your meth lab? at sporting events. We have a moose warning system in the form of a Facebook group where you write out when and where you saw the moose. We use it to track the movements of those bastards so as to warn others of potential moose on the road situations to avoid traffic accidents. Now, some people have been found guilty of ignoring the group. The town is divided. I've seen ugly looks thrown around, whispers behind hands, rumours are spreading, harsh words on the internet. This is growing bigger than the kidnapped trash cans. Oh, and Freddy the Chihuahua broke out his yard again. His escapes always seem to engage everyone. That dog is goddamn Houdini reborn. Local coffee shop named an old stray cat after their business, but acted like the business was named after the cat. The cafe is dog friendly. Some lady with her dog gets coffee. Dog kills cat. Lady runs away. Fucking anarchy in the streets. Where's my pitchfork? Mate, I literally could fill a book with the crazy shit that goes on in my village. Let's just go with this morning's little bit of drama. According to Janet, a 75-year-old metalhead slash explorer, Fat Anne, Anne is the lady on the end of Janet's row who's claimed a bit of road next to her house as a drive, but it's not her effing drive, it's owned by the council. It's coming effing ground. So, Fat Anne has been putting rubbish in Janet's trash can. Can you believe it? And Janet has proof because of the wildlife camera she bought specifically to catch Fat Anne in the act has done just that. Caught Fat Anne putting her fatty bloody ass rubbish in Janet's trash can. It's an effing travesty. I was seen walking unescorted by a man in the plaza. My husband was called immediately. Someone put 107 gnomes in some poor woman's front garden and it made national news. It was a little while back but the only thing that's ever happened here. 
someone is gluing tiny cowboy hats onto pigeons. The younger generations don't have the same enthusiasm for human sacrifice. It could ruin this year's harvest and everyone is pretty worried. This next question was posted by user Kai All. What is something you realised embarrassingly late in your life? For me, I just recently realised that pipe cleaners were actually intended to clean pipes. No, not plumbing pipes. Tobacco pipes. It all makes sense now. Because before I always imagined a plumber trying to unclog a sink with one of those fuzzy wire things. As a side note, as a side note, the man, or possibly even more likely the woman, who decided to make these furry, pokey enablers in different colours ended up winning over the other 99% of its future user base that until then never had a reason to use these tools. I am referring, of course, to children. So I've said enough, what about you? This isn't me, but rather a close, very ditzy friend. The other day in class, another student started to flicker the lights on and off. My ditzy friend immediately yelled, don't do that. When everyone looked at her, she said, it will call 911. After the entire class recovered from crying and rolling all over the floor laughing, she explained to us that her parents had told her that it calls 911 at a young age to keep her from flickering the lights. When I was maybe 13 or 14 years old, I heard the phrase doggy style for the first time. I had no idea what it meant, but I thought it sounded cool. So I started to use it in regular conversations. All. The. Fucking. Time. I'd be eating dinner with my parents and ask my dad to, pass me the peas doggy style. My parents were confused. My friends never said a word. And then I figured out what it really meant. Familiar with MJ's song, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. For 26 years, I thought to myself, what a cheating, unfaithful bitch. Then it dawned on me that Santa was the dad. I learned what marital status was when I was 18. For some reason, I always read it as martial status, as in martial arts. I took karate when I was younger, so on my first few job applications, I wrote yellow belt instead of single. Worcestershire sauce isn't pronounced Worcestershire. Thanks, Dad. I was well into my 20s when someone told me that the reason my mom had me buy shoes with two finger lengths worth of room in the toes was so I wouldn't grow out of them so fast. I had been wearing shoes a half size too big ever since my feet stopped growing. When I was first entering puberty, my friend convinced me that the proper way to masturbate was to literally beat your dick. Him. Well, they don't call it beating off for nothing. So my first month of masturbation consisted of me punching my dick in a sad, painful confusion. My friend didn't know until she was 19 that people said the word cheese in photos because the word made you smile. She just thought everyone was saying her favourite food to make her happy. When I was 19, I realised you don't take things for granite. A shoe fly isn't a type of fly. She is asking the fly to leave her alone. I used to think guerrilla warfare was actually trained gorillas. How to fold a fitted sheet. I still can't fold a fitted sheet. This is really sad. I used to think that the Beatles song Hey Jude was called Hey Jew and was about moving on and building a better world after the Holocaust. Women have a billion ways of telling you they want sex and none of them actually involve telling you. The first time I ordered steak in a restaurant, upon being asked how I liked it cooked, I responded with, in the oven, please. It never occurred to me until like eight months ago, and my pop never showed me, I suppose, that you can just open your fly and pull your poo out through your drawers to take a leap. I undid my belt and unbuttoned every time, and I'm 37. I swear I'm not making this up. Sometimes I'm profoundly disappointed in myself and my ability to problem solve, or just have something simple fucking occur to me. This is just one great example. My scoutmaster would fart while we were all sitting around the campfire and telling us it was barking spiders. I believe barking spiders existed until I went to college. One of my favourite songs growing up was TLC's Don't Go Jason Waterfalls. <laughs> that girls don't pee out their butts. I'm not embarrassed because this comment will be lost at the bottom. Until this year, I'm 19, I thought the phrase was to make ends meet. I thought it meant the worst part of the meat or something. So like, if you were barely making ends meet, you only had enough money to buy the worst cuts of beef and stuff. I still think it, because mine is better. It took me almost 30 years to realise that I'm not actually gifted nor talented. <laughs> <laughs> that 
thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.